Our next game is the first of the two semifinals and will feature the number two seeds in the dark caps, the Princeton University Tigers. And in the white caps, the number three seeds, the Hartwick College Hawks. All games are being broadcast live, so we need everyone to be on their best behavior. Please support the participants and officials in a positive manner. Anyone failing to do so may be removed from the pool. Also remember that alcohol and tobacco products within the competition site are strictly prohibited. The referees for this game on the players bench side of the pool from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Michael Goldenberg, and on the audience side and the scorers table from Houston, Texas, Scott Volz. The game will begin in 30 seconds as this is a live stream game. It will be number two in the white cap, Lena Katanchin for Hartwick. And she defeats Eliza Britt to begin the game for those watching the live stream. Hartwick in the white caps controlling the ball at mid pool, moving right to left on your screen. Princeton in the dark caps moving left to right. Offensive foul swimming over top of the defenseman in the chase for the ball. And that was called against Hartwick's number three, Lauren Brennan. Chelsea Johnson takes over for Princeton. Charlotte Cottle with the steal of the ball away from a turning Morgan Hallock. Lob shot from Sophia Polak is wide right. Ashley Johnson takes over in the cage for Princeton. The outlet on the left side to her sister, Chelsea. Princeton goaler, first of the game, scored by number nine, Morgan Halleck. Time of the goal, 6.29. The score, Princeton one, Hartwig zero.
Foul and shot from Chelsea Johnson's off the left post. The rebound retrieved by Lauren Brennan. And Josette Santos will send Hartwick away on the attack. Midpool outlet to Charlotte Cottle. Pass intended for Sophia Polak is long. Goes out of play. At Princeton will take over. Ashley Johnson with the ball in the cage for the Tigers. In the midpool outlet to Sydney Sachs. Offensive foul grabbing the suit in the center called against number nine, Morgan Halleck of Princeton. Hartwick takes over on the counter. The shot from Lena Katanchin is saved out of play by Ashley Johnson. A corner throw is awarded to Hartwick. It'll be taken by Katanchin. Crashing back is Sydney Sachs to take the ball away from Sophia Polak in the center. Ashley Johnson controls for the Tigers and gives a short outlet to Haley Wan. Wan's skip shot is off the underside of the bar and stays out on the turnover. Wan is excluded for holding on the counterattack, her first of the game. Timing the exclusion, 3.56. Hartwick to the power play. <laughs> Hartwick power play goal, her first of the game, scored by number 10, Charlotte Cottle. Time of the goal, 3.34. The score is now tied at one. Offensive foul, contact with the head leaning in to the defender called against number two, Chelsea Johnson. Lena Katanchin takes over for the Hawks. Offensive foul, grabbing the suit, trying to get an advantage was called against number four, Tori Wilson. On the turnover, Exclusion called against number two, Lena Katanchin. Time of the exclusion, 2.49. Princeton on the power play. Princeton power play goal, her first of the game, scored by number 10, Eliza Britt. Time of the goal, 2.36. The score, Princeton two, Hartwick one. Offensive foul called against number 10, Charlotte Cottle for kicking to get separation. Princeton takes over. Ashley Johnson with the outlet to her sister, Chelsea.
The shot by Sidney Chong is saved and controlled by Josette Santos. Hartwick takes over. Delay of game called against Hartwig's Lena Katanchin for throwing the ball away. Princeton takes over. Lindsey Keller with the ball for the Tigers. The shot by Chelsea Johnson is saved and controlled by Josette Santos. Right side outlet to Sophia Polak as Hartwig goes to the attack. Eliza Britt comes back to tip the ball away from a turning Tory Wilson. Ashley Johnson takes over in the goal for Princeton. Thirty seconds remaining in the opening quarter. The shot by Ashley Johnson is saved and controlled by Josette Santos. Hartwick counterattack goal, her first goal of the game, scored by number nine, Nikolina Mihailovic. Time of the goal, three seconds. The score is now tied at two. The clock will be reset to three seconds. Shot by Chel Ashley Johnson is blocked at the defense by Lauren Brennan. And the score at the end of the first quarter of play, the Princeton University Tigers and Dark Caps 2, the Hartwood College Hawks and White Caps 2.
Lena Cantonja, number two in the white cap for Hartwick. Lindsay Keller, number 18 in the dark hat for Princeton. And Cantonja with her second win sends Hartwick to the first attack of the second quarter with the score tied at two. Pass intended for center Nikolina Mihailovic is stolen by Ashley Johnson coming out of the Princeton cage. She outlets on the right side to Lindsay Keller as the Tigers go to the attack. Lindsay Keller, a shot is off the crossbar and stays out. Sophia Polak retrieves the ball for Hartwick. <laughs> Offensive foul. Putting the arm around the neck, turns the ball over. <laughs> Josette Santos out of the cage to take the ball away from Chelsea Johnson, who had inside water. The outlet to Katie McKenty, Hartwick to the attack. <laughs> Offensive foul. Called in the center. Nikolina Mihailovic holding the suit. Ashley Johnson with the ball in the cage for Princeton. Princeton goal, her first of the game. On the counterattack, time of the goal at 5.59. Scored by number four, Sydney Chong. Score Princeton three, Hartwick two. The shot by Charlotte Cottle is wide left and out of play. Princeton takes over, Ashley Johnson with the ball. Midpool outlet to Sydney Sachs. The skip shot by Chelsea Johnson is wide left and not out of play. Hartwick takes over, Josette Santos with the ball for the Hawks. Ball under is called again center LJ Edwards. The defensive play made by Haley Wan of Princeton. Ashley Johnson takes over. The long outlet to, Char to Eliza Britt. The skip shot by Chelsea Johnson is saved. The rebound tried to put back by Haley Wan is also saved by Josette Santos. Hartwick takes over.
The backhand by LJ Edwards is saved by Ashley Johnson. Princeton takes over as we approach the midway point of quarter number two. Princeton counterattack goal, her first goal of the game, scored by number two, Chelsea Johnson. Time of the goal, 3.59. The score, Princeton four, Hartwick two. Quick pop-up and shot by Sophia Polak falls short. Ashley Johnson takes over for Princeton in the cage. The outlet for Sydney Chong. Sophia Polak out to steal the errant pass from Hannah Lapkin. Josette Santos with the ball for Hartwick. Long right side outlet to Lena Katanchin. The lob by Sophia Polak. Misses the mark on the right side, it stays inbounds. Retrieved by Ashley Johnson, Princeton to the attack. Long left side outlet to Eliza Britt. LJ Edwards with the steal of the pass intended for Sidney Chong. Josette Santos with the ball in the Hartwick cage. Less than two minutes remaining in the second quarter. Foul occurred inside five meters and cannot be shot. On the turnover, exclusion called against number 13, Sophia Polak for holding. Time of the exclusion, 137. Princeton will go to the power play after its timeout. Princeton on the power play after its timeout.
Princeton power play goal, or first of the game, scored by number 18, Lindsey Keller. Time of the goal, 123. The score, Princeton 5, Hartwick 2. Pass intended for Sophia Polak is too high and long. The loose ball retrieved by Ashley Johnson of Princeton. The outlet on the right side to Lindsey Keller as Princeton goes to the attack. Less than a minute remaining in the first half. Foul and shot from Chelsea Johnson is saved by Josette Santos. Elena Katanchin on the right side for Hartwick. Princeton exclusion for holding on the turn. Her first of the game called against number 18, Lindsay Keller. Time in the exclusion, 24 seconds. Harwick power play goal, or first of the game, scored by number three, Lauren Brennan. Time of the goal, 20 seconds. And they score at the end of one half of play, the Princeton Tigers and Dark Caps five, the Hartwick Hawks and Whitecaps three. here in the water with you literally to show you some tips of the trade to become the best goalkeeper possible. This is your cat seven tip of the week. The number one most important thing in my mind is a solid egg beater base position. Unfortunately, once we're able to keep our head above water, we don't focus on a daily basis on improving our efficiency. But for me, what I do at least five to 10 minutes a day is make sure I'm bringing my knees not only as high, but as wide as possible. And a good way to test that is to use two balls rather than floating, floating on it completely, but to use it as a balance point, kind of up high and wide, increasing my range of motion so that when I let go of the balls, I continue high wide egg beater. My knees never get below my hip line, allowing me to be ready to jump at any second. So most people are, are more comfortable kicking off of their right leg. But I also want you to be just as comfortable kicking off your left leg. And if you keep a high wide base rather than going alternating all the way down, you're always going to have separation between your knees. You're going to kick off any leg. So one thing that you can do is to alternate. One, two, three, right. One, two, three, left. One, two, three, right. One, two, three, left. So you're prepared to make a block at any moment regardless of who's pump faking you. So keeping that same base position with my body, my knee, high knees, fingertips on the balls to strengthen through my wrists and forearms. Fingertips just slightly underwater, bringing my knees up high and wide. Within one minute or so, you'll start to feel your hip flexors burn, your forearms start to catch on fire, and you know you're doing it properly. Balance the entire time, so it should look 
as if you're floating on a ball or two. My collarbone's completely, completely balanced. Okay, you're floating on the ball. And once I get off the ball, I have that same balance. Whether my hands are in the water or out of the water, I'm completely balanced. So if somebody pump fakes me and I get my hands up, I'm still balanced. Whether it's here, all the way here, I can still react. Fully custom turbo water polo caps. The opportunities to design these are pretty much limitless. We can change the color of the piping. We can put any sort of logo here. We'll see. We've got Villanova Wildcats, um, and they keep their, their logos really consistent. The other thing I want you to understand and know that you can add a third number or even a fourth number if you'd like. The other thing you'll see with our caps here in 2016, we upgraded our ear guard, um, and we've created a, a specific hole here to put on the cap stringers, which helps to prevent the breakage on the caps. For Hartwick, single goals from number three, Lauren Brennan, number nine, Nikolina Mihailovic, and number ten, Charlotte Cottle. Exclusions, Princeton, one each to number three, Haley Wan, and number 18, Lindsay Kelleher, one to Hartwick, number 13, Sophia Polak. Two saves for Ashley Johnson in the Princeton net and five for Josette Santos in the Hartwick net. Action photos are being shot of all the athletes in action every quarter of every game this weekend. You can get your photo package at a discount of 50%. All you have to do is go to the concessions table, pick up a card with the discount code. Next week when you're at home, you can leisurely look through the library of photos, pick the ones you want, use the 50% off code, and get your order delivered. You can also purchase a DVD of this game for just $10 or all your team's games for the entire weekend for only $25. And if you order before 10 a.m. tomorrow, we will have your DVDs ready for you when you're ready to leave. Lena Katanjan, number two in the white hat. Eliza Britt, number 10 in the dark hat. And it's Katanjan with the win for the Hartwick Hawks. For those watching the live screen, Hartwick is controlling the ball in mid pool in the white caps, moving left to right on your screen. Princeton in the dark caps, moving right to left, leading five to three. Haley Wan back to steal the ball away from a driving Tory Wilson. Ashley Johnson takes over in goal for Princeton. Morgan Halleck with the ball in mid pool. Hardwick exclusion for going over top of the offensive player to get position. Her first of the game called against number two, Lena Katanchin. Time of the exclusion, 6.54. Yeah. On the turnover after the shot, Hardwick returns to full strength and has taken timeout.
Correction on the exclusion. That was Lena Katanshin's second exclusion of the game. Offensive foul, straight arming, leaning in at the center, called against number 13, Sophia Polak at Princeton. Chelsea Johnson on the counterattack. Ball has to be taken at least as far from the net as the foul occurred. The shot from Chelsea Johnson is saved and controlled by Josette Santos, who throws the breakaway pass for Sophia Polak. Eliza Britt with the tip of the ball away from Polak. Ashley Johnson with the ball in the cage for Princeton and the outlet mid pool to Sydney Sachs. The lob from Lindsay Keller is off the left post and stays out. Josette Santos with the loose ball for Hartwick. Hartwick goal, her first of the game, scored by number 13, Sophia Polak. Time of the goal, 5.27. The score, Princeton 5, Hartwick 4. Lena Katonchin steps in front of the pass intended for Chelsea Johnson. Hartwick to the counterattack. Princeton exclusion for interfering with the free throw, flipping the ball away after the whistle. Her first of the game called against number two, Chelsea Johnson. Time of the exclusion, 4.47. Hartwick will go to the power play after its timeout. Josette Santos to send Hartwick to the power play after its timeout.
Ashley Johnson out of the cage to steal the ball away from center Nikolina Mihailovic. Princeton have returned to full strength and will go to the attack. The mid-pool outlet to Lindsey Keller. Josette Santos out to steal the ball after it tips off the hand of center Eliza Britt. And it'll be Sophia Polak leading Hartwick to the attack. Skip shot from Lena Katanchin is saved and controlled by Ashley Johnson. The outlet on the left side to Haley Wan. Princeton goal, her second of the game, scored by number four, Sydney Chong. Time of the goal, 2.52. Score, Princeton six, Hartwick four. Princeton exclusion for Hope grabbing the suit on the perimeter. Her first of the game called against number eight, Hannah Lapkin. Time of the exclusion, 2.35. Hartwick on the power play. Ashley Johnson retrieves the shot off the post on the turnover. Princeton back to full strength. Mid-pool outlet to Eliza Britt. Hannah Lapkin's shot is off the top of the bar. The rebound retrieved by Lena Katanchin. Returns it to Josette Santos in the Hartwick cage, who gives it back to her on the right side. Princeton exclusion for holding on the drive. Her first of the game called against number seven, Maddie D'Amato. Time of the exclusion, 132. Hartwick on the power play. Tori Wilson shot hits the inside of the left post, goes along the line and stays out. Princeton back to full strength. One minute to play in the third quarter, last minute of play in quarter number three. Princeton counterattack goal, her second of the game, scored by number 10, Eliza Britt. Time of the goal, 51 seconds. The score, Princeton seven, Hartwick four.
Princeton exclusion, holding on the drive. Her second of the game called against number seven, Maddie D'Amato. Timing the exclusion, 23 seconds. Harwick power play goal, her second goal of the game, scored by number nine, Nikolina Mihailovic. Time of the goal, 17 seconds. The score, Princeton seven, Hartwick five. And they score at the end of three quarters of play. The Princeton Tigers and Dark Caps seven, the Hartwick Hawks and White Caps five. that started out out of the back of our garages and we were doing clinics and uh, camps around the country. I, we pride ourselves as a company uh, with Cap7 and Turbo to, uh, to sponsor as much and, and give back to the sport as much as we can. Last year we gave over $250,000 back to the sport and all our products are built by water polo players and for water polo players. Hi, I'm Wolf Weiger with Cap7. There's one more quarter to go in this game. Fourth quarter coming up now. One It'll be number two in the white cap, Lena Katanchin for Hartwick. Number three in the dark cap, Haley Wan for Princeton. Katanchin against Wan. It'll be a jump ball as both players arrived at the ball simultaneously and submerged it. Katanchin with the win of the tip as we begin the fourth quarter. Hartwick with the ball, trailing by two. The shot from Lena Katanchin is saved and controlled by Ashley Johnson, her fourth save. Princeton takes over, the left side outlet to Eliza Britt. Cross pool pass and shot. Chelsea Johnson hits the crossbar. The rebound controlled by Hartwick. Josette Santos with the ball in the cage.
The long outlet to Lena Katanchin on the right side. Offensive foul, kicking off to gain separation. Princeton takes over, and two on one. Offensive foul, kicking off to gain separation, called against number nine, Morgan Halleck of Princeton. Hartwick takes over, Charlotte Cotto with the ball for the Hawks. Offensive foul, hooking the arm in the center, called against number 13, Sophia Polak of Hartwick. Ashley Johnson takes over. Princeton with the ball. Offensive foul, two-hand grab and pull to gain position on the counter, called against number 18, Lindsey Kelleher of Princeton. Hartwick takes over. Princeton exclusion for holding on the drive. Her first of the game called against number 14, Sydney Sachs. Time of the exclusion, 5.50. Hartwick on the power play. Hartwick power play goal, or first of the game, scored by number two, Lena Katanchin. Time of the goal, 5.31. The score, Princeton seven, Hartwick six. On the previous possession, a yellow card has been issued to Princeton head coach, Louis Nicolau. Hartwick exclusion. Her third of the game for impeding the drive called against number two, Lena Katanchin. She's excluded from the remainder of the game. Time of the exclusion, 5-12. Princeton power play goal. Her second of the game scored by number two, Chelsea Johnson. Time of the goal, 5-10. Score, Princeton eight, Hartwick six. A skip shot by Lauren Brennan is off the outside of the left post. She retrieves her own rebound. New shot clock for Hartwick. Princeton exclusion for two hands down. Holding her second of the game called against number three, Haley Wan. Time of the exclusion, 437. Hartwick on the power play. The lob attempt by Charlotte Cottle is saved and controlled by Ashley Johnson, her fifth save of the game. Princeton back to full strength as we pass the midway point of the fourth quarter. Offensive foul, holding the suit in the center, called against number nine, Morgan Halleck of Princeton. Sophia Polak on the counterattack for Hartwick. Her shot is saved out of play by Ashley Johnson. 
A corner throw is awarded to Hartwick. It'll be taken by Lauren Brennan. Delay while the game suit is zipped up properly. Hartwick goal, her second of the game, scored by number 13, Sophia Polak. Time of the goal, 3.23. The score, Princeton 8, Hartwick 7. Sophia Pollock with the intercept of the pass intended for Eliza Britt. Hartwick takes over. Josette Santos with the ball for the Hawks. The long outlet to Lauren Brennan. Nikolina Mihailovic loses the handle on the ball, trying to turn. Ashley Johnson with the ball in the cage for Princeton. Mid-pool outlet to Haley Wan. The shot by Haley Wan is off the head of Charlotte Cottle and out of play. Hartwick takes over. Katie McKenty with the ball for the Hawks. Shot from the ring by Lauren Brennan is wide right. Ashley Johnson takes over for Princeton. Less than two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And the breakaway pass in 10. Lindsay Keller. Her lob shot is off the bar. And on the turnover, Hartwick is taking timeout. Fans. Remember after the game, you can go to the concessions table, get a card with a 50% discount code, and order your action shots of your favorite player when you get home next week. Go to the CWPA website at collegiawaterpolo.org. Look at all the photos at your leisure. Use the discount code you pick up today and order. You can also get a DVD of this exciting game for $10 or all of your team's games from this weekend for $25. If you order before tomorrow at 10 a.m., we will have your DVDs ready for pickup when you leave. This is the first of two semifinals. The winner of this game will play in tomorrow's championship final at 1.30. The loser will play in the third place game at noon. Josette Santos will send Hartwick to the attack after its timeout. <laughs> Lauren Brennan's shot is blocked out of play by Chelsea Johnson. Turnover to Princeton. Ashley Johnson gets the ball. Long right side outlet to Lindsay Kelleher. <laughs> the 
Princeton is taking timeout. Johnson will put Princeton on the attack. 50 seconds remaining. The outlet to Haley Wan. Shot clock violation called against Princeton. Hartwick takes over. Nikolina Mihailovic over to get the loose ball. Josette Santos with the outlet on the right side. And on the turnover, Hartwick is taking a 30-second timeout to position on the offense. That is Hartwick's final timeout. Josette Santos to send the Hawks to the attack. Cross pool pass and shot by Tori Wilson is over the bar and out of play. Ashley Johnson takes over for Princeton. And the final score, the Princeton Tigers eight. The Hartwick Hawks, seven. Princeton moves on to the championship final tomorrow at 1.30. And Hartwick in the third place game at noon. The player of the game with two goals from Princeton, number two, Chelsea Johnson. Derek, Derek. 